Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, as promised, is going to be when we all went to the Cicada Club in downtown Los Angeles. So the Cicada Club um, was built in 1928 and it was a men's store <laughs> and it was like a top of the market store um, where it, they had clothes for men. I would say mostly clothes and accessories for men. And people like Clark Gable went there, John Barrymore went there. So there was a lot of famous celebrities and Maverick is coughing, so I hope he's okay. <laughs> um, so that was a men's store outlet first and then it then changed into what we know as Cicada Club and it where people can go for dinner and there's dancing and it's all original architecture inside it is absolutely beautiful um and i walked around every area <laughs> just to check it all out and there is a dress code you guys so when you go um you can put your tickets online and then you can go at the door and you have to be in a kind of like you can either dress in vintage attire or just smart um, evening wear um, and that's fine and then there's like a guy at the door that opens the door for you it is so so cool and then you walk up and then you get seated and we got to sit upstairs on the balcony which was actually I would say is like one of the best seats because we were right at the top but like in the middle so we could see the dance floor we could see the band um, and then there was a dance floor behind us at the bar because there's a bar like right behind us um, and that was cool because we ended up we were like we can't really dance that well so we're just going to dance on the the amateur one at the bottom we're like we're just gonna stay up here um so it was really good fun you guys and it was definitely a great experience because Maverick and I have been talking about going for so so long and we just were like I don't know should we go should we not and because my brother and Lauren time um we were just like we'll just all go so it was four of us all went and we had dinner and they do give you a set menu so you choose like all your courses up front and then they have certain cocktails that you can have um, and then they bring it all to you with breads and butters and things like that. It's actually really, really cool. It's a, on the, a little bit on the pricey side, um, but if you're going for a celebration or just like a night out, just to celebrate something or just to try it out for one time, then it's fine. I'm not sure if it would be like an every weekend thing because of the price. Um, because I think per person, it's $20 to get in. So if you wanted to go dancing or whatever and have a cocktail then, that's fine. <laughs> so it's 20 bucks per person, but then for the meal, I think it's about 70 bucks on top of that per person. So you're talking nearly $100 per person to go. So if, it just depends on your price range. If you want to spend that much money on a night out just randomly, then on you go. <laughs> um, but it's really nice for a celebration and things like that. So we we're thinking about going maybe again in the future, but not anytime soon, I don't think. Just for I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a great time. Um, and then at the end, you're gonna see in the video, um, I was wearing vintage shoes and I did think I shouldn't wear vintage shoes. I should probably wear some repro. Um, um, but then, I don't know, I put the vintage shoes on and I thought they were comfortable and they lasted me all night and I was dancing, but not very good dancing, <laughs> on the floor upstairs. And then when we were leaving, we were coming down the stairs, um, I missed the last three steps because one of my heels snapped and it's carpet stairs you guys so it was like my foot I would say it was like a sledge <laughs> and I just went flying back I fell down three, three like sets of stairs and then the owner was at the bottom he was like oh what happened what happened and he like came to check up on us and everything was fine but I was like so embarrassed you guys I just kind of sat on the stairs I was like oh what happened <laughs> And then I thought, I was like, I'm the one that didn't even drink. I was just on the water and the ginger tea. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then I had to walk out and my brother had to like help me out and um, put me into the car because I only had one heel and I didn't want to walk around in bare feet because that's kind of, I was like, I don't know, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Um, and so that was good fun um, and then yeah we just came home because it only it starts the doors open at 7 and then it closes at 11 we wished it would stay on for longer and um, but it was fun and then they had bands playing there was a lot of singing and things like that so it was definitely a great experience and I would definitely recommend it to anyone so and it's nice to go to something that's vintage as well because there's not many places left here so it's nice to go and experience different ones so so yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to let you guys watch the video and I will speak to you all at the end. So enjoy! <laughs> So 
My sister, no. Yeah. <laughs> And who has never been here before? More people have never been here before. So for you folks who have never been here before, welcome to Missile Cannon Pop. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the dance floor is open. So please welcome, if you will, the one, the only, the amazing, the stupendous, the outrageous, the effervescent, Mr. What's your name again? No. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jack's Cats Vintage Swing Band. Two guys on one way street.
I'm swaying in the wind, Maverick. Come on, Maverick. Come on. He's got a band for him. <laughs> the night but one of my shoes snapped and I fell all the way down the stairs so I know how to embarrass myself and I was the only one that didn't drink so <laughs> so for me it's so clumsy so that's us finally home and we're all tired Here's Laura so we're all gonna go to bed but it was a good night even though I fell down the stairs and broke my heel <laughs> it's okay at least we got it on camera really. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so that's good. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed that video and you got to see me fall at the end. It's always fun to see that. <laughs> um, so if you like this video, then please leave a like and don't forget to comment and subscribe. And Rick, he's excited because he wants you guys to subscribe and like this video. <laughs> um, he's probably barking at the other dog next door. As you guys know, you know he always barks. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned. And if you want to check out what I've been up to, then you can follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my link here. And then I, if not, then I'll see you all back here on Monday. So we're going to head to Six Flags today, which we're excited about. 
Um, I'm not, as I said earlier. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know if I told you guys, maybe it was in another video that I was filming. But I am really nervous because I am terrified of heights and roller coasters. Can I, I will go on them, but I just close my eyes and I scream and I lose my voice. So it's going to be fun. So we have a little bit of here, Zach, and we're all going to go. And we realised that Zach, Maverick, and I went, what was it, Zach? Two years ago today. We went to Six Flags for the first time. So there we go, we didn't even know. <laughs> so wish me luck and I will speak to you all soon. Um, so yeah, have a great week, weekend, sorry. <laughs> and I'll see you all Monday. Bye.